This is the Itoe Seal Portable Projector. It runs on Android 11. It supports a 4K and it has a native resolution of 1080p. And what is really interesting about it is that it supports a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity and it also comes with pre-installed apps. It has a HDR10 decoding, autofocus and keystone, a powerful dual speaker. And in this video, I'll get you to the contents of the box. And obviously I'll show you how to set it up and what is the video and audio quality. So let's get into the video. And just a quick overview of what comes in the box. Obviously there is the projector. Uh, here we have uh, the warranty card, the uh, user manual. In this box over here, there is the remote control power cable. The remote control comes in this box, but mind you will need two AA batteries in order to uh, make it work. And uh, here there are some nice uh, stickers uh, that you can uh, use. And also this design over here. And uh, here there is a quick uh, start guide. And this is the projector, it has nice branding over here, infrared sensor, the lens, and uh, here is the texture of the material uh, it is covered with. Uh, here at the back uh, we have the ports, and this is the power um, port, uh, USB, HDMI, infrared and auxiliary, and uh, here it has uh, ventilation. And uh, from this side it is the same thing. Here at the bottom, as you can see, it has the universal mount screw, and also anti-slip uh, material, uh, which uh, makes it very practical to hold it uh, on any surface. Here at the top, it comes with a nice handle, very easy and practical to carry it around. And uh, here it has the power button, also buttons uh, to navigate. Now I'd like to show you what's the real weight of the projector. And it comes at uh, 1,253 grams. This is how I prefer to keep the projector on a tripod because it allows me to change its position uh, very easy and also if I prefer I can change the position just like this. Something else that I wanted to show you as you can see the power cable is plugged uh, and I prefer to use uh, the hook of the tripod in order to keep it in this position otherwise it's gonna hang in the air. At the moment uh, the projector is at the height of around 1.7 meters because I would like to use the wall over there to project the image. Now I'm going to switch around using the remote control and I would like to show you how long it takes to load. This is uh, the image that you're going to see and I'm going to switch off the light uh, for a better quality. As you can see at the moment uh, the image is not straight and now it's going to load and it's going to start the autofocus and now also uh, auto keystone uh, process. Now it changed as you can see uh, the autofocus was adjusted and um, you will see this uh, process. Now it's uh, loading the Android TV. Now you can see that everything is loaded. So there are a couple of options that I will go through. Using the remote control you can navigate on the screen and you also have the option of uh, installing uh, the uh, assistant. Uh, so you can speak uh, to the remote control and uh, it will search whatever you would like to. Uh, here you have click to type uh, home. Uh, also you get uh, discover. And uh, you can install extra apps. Uh, these are the ones that are, are pre-installed. And uh, you can go to a Play Store for this. But in order to get to this uh, main screen, basically what you have to do is uh, to go uh, and uh, connect your Google account. And you can add uh, several accounts and also you can uh, remove it uh, based on your preference. Also on the remote control you can get uh, quick access to YouTube. So if you just uh, press uh, on the button YouTube uh, will load. And you can uh, also uh, get access uh, just by clicking on a button uh, to Netflix uh, and also uh, to Amazon Prime and to Disney+. Plus. I just play something from YouTube at the best quality and uh, as you can see the video uh, quality is absolutely amazing in my opinion. And the good part is that you also have the option of straight from the remote control to uh, adjust uh, the focus based on your preference. Even from this angle uh, the image uh, is still good and uh, you can still see clear details. Even from this angle, the image is still good. And uh, as you can see, I stay very, very low. And uh, I'm doing this because uh, I no I've noticed that uh, even uh, if you don't stay exactly straight in front of uh, the image, uh, you can still enjoy uh, a good quality uh, projection. Even from this angle, uh, I can uh, clearly see the video and also the luminosity. Uh, it is uh, quite good. And I've noticed that also the colors are represented correctly because I filmed the video that is projected now and I can compare with the original one. Uh, probably a bit uh, saturated, but uh, still uh, the quality is, uh, in my opinion, very good. I would like to show you how practical is the auto keystone and also autofocus. I'm going to change a bit the position of uh, the projector 
and uh, as you can see it is uh, adjusting uh, the position automatically and just in case you're not satisfied with the focus you can do it uh, manually using the remote control if for example i move it like this can also get a good image but uh, based on uh, the situation uh, you can uh, change the position of the actual projector now i'm going to increase the volume uh, and there is a bar over there at the bottom and uh, now we are at around the 60 percent in this part uh, i will increase a bit the volume for you to hear what is the quality it has a very large battery capacity of 20,000 milliamps it has 256 gig of internal storage which can be expanded up to one terabyte using a tf card now i'm here and this is uh, the projector and i'm going to slowly increase the volume for you to hear what is the quality of the audio now it's at the maximum and if i move for example over here and uh, if i move at the back of the projector and just a bit closer to it so there is no need for an additional one and also this one is uh, very uh, well integrated and for example if i stay over here with the microphone in my hand uh, and i'm gonna increase the volume the max this is the sound quality and uh, the sim card tray and uh, also protection over here it's a quick overview of the remote control it has the power button over here it has uh, the microphone if you press uh, this uh, button long it's gonna activate the voice uh, control uh, this one is uh, to select the source you can choose from the ones that appear over there on the screen uh, if you press on this button it's going to activate the quick uh, menu and you can uh, select uh, for example uh, color temperature and uh, choose the one uh, that you like also it has uh, the sound mode aspect ratio and uh, projection settings and uh, um, also you can use these buttons uh, in order to navigate on the screen just like this or to go back and forth left and right and uh, if you press this button uh, over here it's gonna uh, open the settings and you have here projection settings uh, and obviously you can go through all these if you press on the home button it's gonna take you to the main page which uh, looks like this and uh, these are the volume buttons plus and minus mute and also you can adjust the focus area as i've showed you before and uh, also these ones uh, are the quick access uh, for YouTube, Netflix, uh, Prime Video and uh, Disney Plus. Now I'd like to show you how fast uh, you can switch uh, between apps. Uh, now it's on Netflix and if I press on YouTube, uh, as you can see, it loads uh, pretty quick. Uh, and if I press, uh, for example, on Prime Videos, obviously I need to sign in uh, very quick. And uh, this is uh, Disney Plus, same thing. Also another aspect that I consider to be quite important related to this projector is the fact that it is very silent and I'm going to move the microphone a bit closer to the ventilation for you to hear. This is without any doubt a good uh, portable projector considering uh, uh, the fact that it comes with a handle at the top and also based on the size and weight of it. It is easy to set up, it supports Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity but the most important is that it offers a good experience while watching movies and also the sound is really good so without any doubt I will definitely recommend it. So guys if you have any questions related to the product you can leave them in the comment section below and I will answer. There is also a link where you can check out more information about the product. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.